What's up my wonderful beautiful sports to the bone family what's up what's up a blessed morning to you all and welcome back to another video hope you guys are doing okay all right coming up in this one my viewers and subscribers we see you wear former West Indies captain now our legend Sir Viv Richards finally had his say publicly as it relates to Nicholas Poor and taking over the captaincy according to Sir Viv Nicholas Poor and takes his cricket seriously and was the obvious choice so we're going to take a look at that interview plus we see where Jamaican Olympic champion Hansel Parchment was victorious yes um yesterday in um, a track meet that was held over there in Puerto Rico winning the 110 meter hurdles for men so we're going to zoom in on that also but before we go any further as per usual I'm just gonna ask you guys to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed become a part of the family man also leave a like and make sure you drop a comment all right my viewers and subscribers so um uh, West Indian legend Sir Viv Richards he has finally spoken as it relates to Nicholas Poor and um, taking over the, the the captaincy and he's actually you know back in Puran as most persons would have expected you know Puran was actually the front runner and according to Viv he was the obvious choice he was the obvious choice seeing that they were already grooming him for the position and based on how he carries himself both on and off the field you know he figured that based on, on what we have in the squad Nicholas Puran was definitely the right man for the job and we know that when Sir Viv Richard speaks a lot of persons sit and take notice but um, I think I think this right here what Sir Viv is saying is what a lot of persons probably would have um you know figured or what a lot of persons probably ag agree to i personally believe that based on what is happening now he was the right man to take over so we, 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 we not, it's not like i'm going to go back down that road and debate it again because i would have already spoken about this at length and different videos and on live show i just sharing the point of view or the opinion of Sir Viv Richards you know the man is well respected when it comes on to cricket so you know I like I like um I like to 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 share his thoughts now according to Sir Viv Richards and I quote there wasn't any other choice in my opinion that is what he's saying it is as clear as day there was no other choice when it comes on so whoever whoever they're talking about um she hope um jace holder ravman powell a lot of names as he throw it getting thrown around in the comment section according to survey richards there was no other choice nicholas was the front runner um survey went on to say in the interview and i quote i think he is very serious and very studious when it comes on to his game both on and off the field and i i don't know the, i don't know the end quote i don't know the youngster personally but based on how he carries himself you know he looks really business-like um conducts himself well on the field based on what i can see usually when he's doing interview you know um seems like a seems like a likable guy you understand so uh we just have to wish him the best we just have to wish him the best um survey went on to say and i quote um he takes his cricket ser um seriously and right now i think west indies cricket is in good hands and i am hoping that he will do well in code that is what sir Viv is saying and according to sir Viv, he has come a long way when he just started out there was maybe some a little bit of some some amount of immaturity in his game i don't know if he's talking about the way in which he plays or the way in which he conducts himself but according to sir Viv, he has definitely come a far way and um he is ready now that is what sir Viv is saying he is ready now so um the final thing that he had to say and i quote i think he is the perfect choice to captain the region right and he will do well he's open that he thinks that he will do well especially in the odi format so yeah that is what um our legend sir Viv richards had to say as it relates to nicholas Puran. and i think you know sir Viv probably i don't know if he intentionally waited until the, the 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 whole fuss and the hype around the, the 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 situation died down to address it or you know he just got a chance you know when they when it just came out a lot of persons were talking and you know sometimes when you come out and say what you have to say in the hype of everything what you what you have to say probably get get um get don't want to say get diluted or get lost in the 
in the in the in the noise that is going on but the fact that he's already in and settled i think sir if coming out and endorsing him like that will probably give him some confidence as i said i don't know if it was strategically done or this is just um Viv getting a chance to do it but the fact that he's in and settled you know it's definitely must be a good feeling to be endorsed by by the by the former former um captain the great sir Viv richard you understand sometimes the former cricketers come out and the way in which they speak you know sometimes we have to wonder why is it that they always have a problem and um, they always can identify problems i will never yet hear them talk any solutions so um something like this is definitely going to be a positive positive move um positive in the corner of nicholas poor and you know hearing sir Viv talking like that so you know having been a, a great man himself you know he would have kept in west indies from in the um 80s i think the early part of the 80s to about 1991 so you know he's definitely um he's definitely fit to speak on the subject as it relates to to captain and leading so yeah that is basically um that as it relates to that part of the video so just to finish up my viewers and subscribers as we know a lot of the track and field athletes are actually opening their season you know we see um we see shelly and fraser price elaine thompson Hera. we see a lot of a lot of athletes taking time to open them season and working it working themselves in um yesterday we had ansel parchment you know he didn't open his season yesterday but he had a very good run you know olympic champion in 110 meter hurdles he actually won um he won the event you know at a, at a track meet that was going on over there in puerto rico i think it's the international athletics um classic that was going on in puerto rico puerto rico and you know he was easily he was easily um across the line he won he won easily in a time of 13.15 in a wind of negative 0 0.2 um you know so kudos to kudos to to hansel parchment you know very good to see him going out there and getting um he continues season i mean 13.15 that is the that is the is is his best so far for the season 31.15 i think when he opened at the national stadium in jamaica earlier he had run 30 um 13.20 so very very good to see him doing his thing um we have another uh caribbean athlete i think uh kirani james that was um also victorious he won the 400 meter event in 44.70 not sure if he's opening his season but that time as we go along in the in the in the in the season we'll definitely need to fall way way down below 44 you understand a lot of the athletes these days running um sub 44 43 point um something so uh kirani james will definitely want to get that done you know he's one of us he's from grenada so we, we definitely want to see him doing well but he was able to secure a victory in 44.70 and um dimish gay one of the standout jamaican uh 400 meter athlete he was seventh in the race um in his race getting 46.32 that time will definitely have to shave shave off far 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 you know usually when he's in form he will give you give you a good 45 and, and thing like that but you know we, we, we're looking we're looking below 44 43 these days so you know he will definitely have to continue to put in the work and you know wishing him wishing him all the best this is one of the strong parts of um jamaica you know our track and field so we like to see it um continuing uh the men the men not really doing as well as we would want them you know we have the hands of parchment we have the the um people like um the omar mcleod omar mcleod in the 100 and, and and 10 meter hurdle also we have um tajay gale you know doing very well in the long jump but we definitely need some of the young sprinters to be coming through people like the nigel ellis you know and and oblique civil and, and all of these guys you know i think oblique civil ran a personal base at the national stadium a little while back maybe a couple of days ago running a flat um 10 10 seconds so you'll definitely be looking to get underneath 10 you know to 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 make sure that we are keeping up with the ladies the ladies doing extremely well for us you know we see shelly running um 10 6 elaine running 10 6 10 7 and them times plus we have the clayton twins coming into their own and brianna liston and, and and some other girls there so things looking good where the females are concerned i don't know how many persons saw an interview where the american justin gatlin who is now i think working with shakari richardson and some other athletes you know he said that shakari is definitely going to be great she's going to do good things because you know in training 
um she's even running 10 threes which is which is faster than the, the the world record and all of that but we're not going to play pay those sort of noise in mind when she comes out and do it on the track then you know we definitely lift our hats off to her say kudos give her a clap but we don't want to hear anybody, boy, anybody running 10 3 and 10 4 in training. We want to see it on the track. You understand? So we're going to leave it right there for normal peeps. Big up on yourselves, eh? Let's come on.